you know, they got caught out, they're on my 10 minutes of happiness. Right, so it says here, we've got a general idea, so let's do an example. So this is his worked example, so let's probably put stuff in a, a different colour so it stands out a bit more. So it says, a company selling electrical goods claims that a certain type of battery has an average lifetime of 20 hours. So my mu is 20. We can assume the batteries are normally distributed, so that's lovely, with a standard deviation of 3. So I know that x follows a normal, which I don't even like that, but I'm not going to write it at all. It tells me here, doesn't it, let's see, x follows a normal distribution of 20,3. So I've got my sigma is 3 there. So you've got to remember it's the variance in that number. After a series of complaints that the batteries were not lasting this long, so I'm thinking that I'm going to be looking at a value less than 20. We take a sample of 10, so n is 10, and find the average lifetime of these batteries to be 18 hours. So x bar is 18. At the 5% significance level, so this is what I'm going to test against. Does this evidence suggest that the company's claim about the average lifetime is too high? So if you look, what we do is we set it up, so we have the null hypothesis. So this one here is the null hypothesis, I'm going to put an N next to it, that says that everything is fine. So that there is saying everything is fine. So this is me, I'm in charge of the company, I'm saying, you're having a laugh, you're not sending these batteries back, everything is fine. So then I have the alternate hypothesis. And that's to say that actually the mean is less than 20. So this is the person complaining, saying actually your batteries are rubbish. Now what I've got here now, I've got the original distribution and I've changed it into the sample distribution. So my sample variance is 0 0.9, my sample Standard deviation, what I'd use in my calculator is root 0 0.9. So then it says, right, okay, let's try it. So because this was less than, I'm going to do less than down here. And it doesn't need to be a less than or equal to because it's a normal distribution. So I'm looking to be less than whatever my value was. So that's 0 0.0175. So that's like the bottom because it's less than. 1.75%. Now I'm testing at the bottom 5%. So it says here that I'm testing at the bottom 5%. So that there is my p value, but I'm looking for the bottom 5%. So if you look, that's less than, so I've got to put it, write it a certain way. So I'll write it as that's less than the 0 0.05. So we reject H0, and I'm always testing against what it should be. So what I'm saying is, is on average, these, the battery life I've got is too far away from where it should be. So what I'm saying here is that my, uh, what was it, X bar was 18. So I'm really saying here that my X bar equals 18 is too far away. from the, the mu is 20. That's what I'm saying, it's too far away. So then we've got this like concluding in context. It says the sample provides a significant evidence at the 5% significance level to suggest that the company's claim of average battery life was too high. There's a lot of information in there, but you have to write it in a very, very specific way. Now there is a mnemonic for remembering it. This is this layout does everything, but it misses out a couple of things on the mnemonic. Um, it misses out the significance level on the tail, but then it does the test, and it does the conclusion. So this one's actually missing out some middle bits, the S and the T, which we're going to talk about. Uh, should we do it? I'll do it at the top here. So it's, so it's not all stats teachers talk crap. And what that stands for is the null. So null, so if I put my n here, so h naught 
It's at Mewis 20, isn't it? Yeah. My alternate, I can't write alternate in here, alternate. So my alternate at H1, because mu is less than 20, I'd write down what my distribution is now. And then the next one is the S, it's the significance level, the sig level. So my S would be a 5% significance level. That's what I'm testing it against. Now this is actually the bottom 0 0.05 I'm looking at because of the, the last one. And then T is my tail. Tail. So T, so it's a one tail test because it's less than. So it's just a one tail test. There. And then the other T is my test stat. So this is my so the other T is my test stat, so the probability that X bar is less than 18, which we've worked out as 0 0.1, 0 0.0175. And then the last bit is my conclusion. conclusion. So my conclusion would be that 0.0175 is less than 0.05, therefore we reject H0. So what I'm saying is that it's far enough away from the 20 for me to feel that there's a, an issue. And the way I write this out is there is sufficient evidence at the 5% significance level. So this is my conclusion part still. You don't need that, do I? So there is sufficient or significant evidence at the 5% significance level. To suggest, and then what I need to do then is go back to the question and copy out word for word. The companies claim that the average lifetime is too high. Uh, to suggest the average lifetime. is too high there. And all that in blue gets you the full mark for set out. So the one on the left here has got all the bits in it, but this, if you follow the mnemonic, not all stats teachers talk crap. So no alternative, significance, tail, test, conclude, you can get full marks on it. Right, so there's one, there's another one, so I'm going to uh, I'm going to stop the vid and we'll talk through a different way of doing it, but then I'll do the, the easy way next to it as well. Okay, right, bye bye.